You can order print jobs using Publishing Services online ordering tool. It lets you select print services like stapling and folding, preview your job on different paper colors, and see the cost of your job. This video will show you how to order a basic print job. If at the conclusion of this short video you still have questions, please call Publishing Services at 206-252-0080 and we can help walk you through it. The web page for the online tool is at seattleschool.myprintdesk.net slash DSF. You can find a link to it on the My SPS web page. Log in to My SPS, navigate to Departments, and then to the P's for Publishing Services. On the Publishing Services web page, you'll find a link to the online ordering tool on the right side. When the online ordering tool opens, you'll need to log in. This login is not the same as your SPS login. Call Publishing Services to create an account for our online ordering system at 252-0080. To place orders, begin by clicking on the Category button and select what you would like to order. This video will demonstrate black and white or color copies. Select black and white or color. I'm going to choose color and click Buy Now. This takes you to the ordering screen. The first step is to upload your files. Navigate to the folder where the file you'd like to print, have printed is stored, select it, and click Upload. Files will be converted to PDF. When you're finished, click Done. Give your job a name by typing in the Job Name field, and set the quantity of copies or prints that you would like. Then you're ready to select your print options. Print in color or sides is where I can choose double-sided. Remember, double-sided printing saves paper and money. If I scroll down, I have choices such as binding, front and back covers, and stapling. I'm not going to pick any of those in this case. If I had something I needed to tell publishing services about my job, I could click on Special Instructions and type in. If you hover your mouse over the unit price, it will break down the costs of your job so that you can see what you're spending. You can also page through your job using the arrows at the bottom of the screen. When you're ready, click on Add to Cart. You'll be asked to approve the job, indicating that you've reviewed your document and are satisfied with it. After you've finished shopping and uploading all your documents that you'd like printed, hover over Cart at the top of the screen and click Check Out. At the first screen, you'll be asked to set a due date. Click on the calendar and you can choose a date that you'd like to receive your job, including a time if you'd like. You can change the quantity that you're ordering here, or click on the job name to review the choices that you've made. When you're ready, click on Proceed to Checkout. If you work at the John Stanford Center, your only selection for shipment will be to pick up at the JSCEE. If you work at a school, you'll also have an option for SPS delivery trucks if you'd prefer to receive your job that way. This screen is complete click on Proceed to Payment. On the Payment Methods screen, you'll have an option to pay with SPS budget codes or Pay at Store. Pay at Store is intended for jobs that are personal jobs where you're going to be paying sales tax. If you're using SPS budget codes, based on your department, you'll have a drop-down list of available budget codes. You can select one of those, or if none of the codes are correct, click on Other Grant and type an alternate budget code in the bottom field. I'm going to choose one of my default budget codes and then place my order. My order has now been placed. I'll receive an email confirming my order as well as an email when my order is ready. <music>